This is another sign of the times, an analysis and a commentary. Arctic sea ice sets a new record low. The drastic melting of Arctic sea ice has finally ended for the year, scientists have announced, but not before demolishing the previous record and setting off new warnings about the rapid pace of change in the region. The apparent low point for 2012 was reached last Sunday, according to the National Snow and Ice Data Center, which said that sea ice that day covered about 1.32 million square miles, or 24% of the surface of the Arctic Ocean. The previous low, set in 2007, was 29%. When satellite tracking began in the late 1970s, sea ice at its lowest point in the summer typically covered about half the Arctic Ocean, but it has been declining in fits and starts over the decades. The Arctic is an Earth's air conditioner, said Walt Meyer, a research scientist at the Snow and Ice Center, an agency sponsored by the government. We're losing that. It's not just that polar bears might go extinct or that native communities might have to adapt, which we're already seeing. There are larger climate effects. This agency waited a few days before announcing the low to be sure sea ice had started to refreeze, as it usually does at this time of year, when winter closes in rapidly and the high Arctic a shell of ice will cover much of the Arctic Ocean in coming months, but it is likely to be thin and prone to melting when summer returns. Scientists consider the rapid warming of the region to be a consequence of the human release of greenhouse gases, and they see the melting as an early warning of big changes to come in the rest of the world. In other words, what happens in the Arctic does not stay in the Arctic, and it will affect the rest of the world. Some of them also think the collapse of Arctic sea ice has already started to alter atmospheric patterns in the northern hemisphere, contributing to greater extremes of weather in the United States and other countries. But that case is not considered proven yet. The sea ice is declining much faster than had been predicted in the last big United Nations report on the state of the climate, published in 2007. The most sophisticated computer analyses for that report suggested that the ice would not disappear before the middle of this century, but now some scientists think the Arctic Ocean could be largely free of summer ice as soon as 2020, but governments have not responded to the change with any greater urgency about limiting greenhouse emissions. To the contrary, their main response has been the plan for exploitation of newly accessible minerals in the Arctic, including drilling for more oil. In other words, it's about money. Scientists also said that the Arctic has become a prime example of the built-in conservatism of their climate forecasts. As dire as their warnings about the long-term consequences of heat-trapping emissions have been, many of them fear they may still be underestimating the speed and severity of the impending changes. In a panel discussion in New York sponsored by Greenpeace, the environmental group James E. Hansen, a prominent NASA climate scientist, said the Arctic melting should serve as a warning to the public of the risks that society is running by failing to limit emissions. The scientific community realizes that we have a planetary emergency, Dr. Hansen said. It's hard for the public to recognize this because they stick their head out the window and don't see that much going on. A prime concern 
as the potential for a large rise in the level of the world's oceans. The decline of Arctic sea ice does not contribute directly to that problem since the ice is already floating and therefore displacing its weight in the water. But the disappearance of summer ice cover replaces a white reflective surface with a much darker ocean surface allowing the region to trap more of the sun's heat which in turn melts more ice. The extra heat in the ocean appears to be contributing to an accelerating melt of the nearby Greenland ice sheet which does contribute to the rise in sea level. At one point this summer surface melt was occurring across 97 percent of the Greenland ice sheet, a development not seen before in the era of satellite measurements. The sea is now rising at a rate of about a foot per century, but scientists like Dr. Hansen expect this rate to increase as the planet warms, putting coastal settlements at risk. A scientist at the Snow and Ice Center took a ride on a Greenpeace ship recently to inspect the Arctic Ocean for herself, interviewed this week after pulling into port at the island of Spitsbergen. She said one of her goals had been to debark on ice flows and measure them, but, but it had been difficult to find any large enough to support her weight. Ice flows were numerous in spots, she said, but when we got further into the ice pack, there were just large expanses of open water. In other words, the ice is melting faster and faster, and this too is another sign of the end of times as we know them, transition days, which is a time of extraordinary changes, happenings, and events, because it's about what kind of world are we leaving to the future generations, and that should be a very important question to ask. Hosea chapter 4 Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of earth, for the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Two, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Three, therefore shall the earth mourn, and every one that dwells therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the birds of heaven. Yes, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Four, yet let no human strive, nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priest. 5. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. 7. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. 8. They eat up the sin of my people, and they set their heart on their inequity. 9. And there shall be like people, like priests, and I will punish them for their ways, and reward them their doings. 10. For they shall eat, and not have enough. They shall commit whoredom, and shall not increase, because they have left off or forgotten to take heed to the Lord. Revelation chapter 10, verse 4. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. 5. And the angel which I saw 
stand upon the sea and upon the earth, lifted up his hand to heaven. 6. And swore by him that lives for ever and ever, who created heaven and the things that therein are, and the earth and the things that therein are, and the sea and the things which are therein, but there should be time no longer. 7. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he has declared to his servants the prophets. It's time for the spiritual and physical manifestation of prophecy. Everything is connected, and everything is numbered, and all these are more signs.